Hello, and welcome to Teen Mom Trash Talk. This is episode 330. I'm your host, comedian Tracy Carnazzo, joined by my co-host, comedian Noel Winters Herzog. Hello. Hi, Noel. Thank you so much for being here. We're here to cover Family Reunion, season three, episode two. Can you believe it? Um, I can believe it because <laughs> um, I, I'm watching it, but it's very bad. Yeah, so it's like, I think maybe when other people join, it'll get better. Right. I this don't is, know. I don't think that's true. Here's the thing. Brianna, Leah, Kaya are joining. Right. Mm-hmm. Kayla and her boyfriend are joining. Mackenzie and her boyfriend are joining. That has to, and Brianna, right? Did I say Brianna? I don't know. I Something hope they fight. To, they sh- I hope they fight again. Well, hope- Kaya and Leah fight. Okay, good. I Really? Interesting. Yeah, Kaya and Leah fight, fight for some reason. Okay, well, and I hope And apparently someone- Leah, like, has her tits out and everyone sees them. Oh, I did. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I saw them the coming attractions. She's like, did I have my tits out? And she's like, yeah, I saw them. They were nice. Uh huh. So I want to know about that stuff. Maybe it'll be better. I hope it will be better. But before we jump into that, I want to tell everyone about my new favorite podcast, Recycled with Noel and Michael. They're covering Real Housewives of New Jersey season two right now. And guess what? What? Some other bonus stuff as well. So mm-hmm. stay tuned over there. We have our other favorite podcast. So pumped a Vanderpump Rules podcast, which is back in action and macaroni rascals, macaroni rascals a Josie Shore podcast and also 90 day fiance single life guess what on vanderpump rules we're about to hit miami girl so join and listen to us join in listen to us uh and in the meantime in we're gonna do time. this but patreon.com slash trash talk podcast and right down there in your show notes also if you're listening to us on audio do you want to see us on youtube you should youtube.com slash trash talk podcasts okay sounds great thanks so much okay so (laughs) family reunion season three episode two dr mike now yeah dr mike's the one that's doing uh tyler's ketamine therapy Ketamine therapy yep (laughs) so when tyler's like i know that guy i'm thinking it's like kayla and her boyfriend or something right but it's dr mike great i know that guy i get high with him yeah right i know that guy he gets me (laughs) He's, <laughs> but we it's ju- like we junk up <laughs> okay right but like why did we have to do this why can't we just be like you guys just party the whole ep- season i, I mean i don't know what's worse though i'd rather see them party i'd rather see like everyone drunk and stupid no i think we're seeing that as well but i'd rather it just be that like but they there's nothing happening at the therapy but well, it's just it's just married couples drinking beers yeah, I mean, this episode really- It's married couples that are cringe. supposed to be sober, just drinking. Well, that's the thing. And this was a lot of, like, cringe, things I don't need to see, things I don't want to know about. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Well, too bad. So Dr. Mike and Micaiah, the relationship expert, show up right. to Cocoa Beach. Very exciting. Although, yeah. uh, Micaiah, she was just so cute. Oh, I mean, adorable. Yeah. She's so cute. But they have set up basically a challenge where each couple is going to dig up these puzzle pieces to make mm-hmm. a big heart. What is the point of this? This is so they Nickelodeon. Work together? Right. But this is like lame. This is so what is this going to do for your relationship? They should do a trust fall. Oh, I don't like those. They should do a trust fall over shark infested waters. Ooh, I like that. High stakes I, trust fall. I'd watch that. Also, I got a new watch. I want to show it to you. Tell me. Isn't it cool? See, if I would have seen that, I would have bought that for you. Okay, Go return well, it. Let me buy it. It's not that expensive. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to buy me a million of them. Yeah, but your birthday is coming. A million of them. You're going to be 31. Okay. I mean, I'm going to be 33, but okay. I'm Tracy, I'm trying to age you down. Yeah, I don't like that. I like when people are honest about my age. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Please don't do that. Don't don't deceive my viewers. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I will These never my fans though. Okay, I'm not gonna deceive your fans anymore. Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right. So Jade thinks she's the head bitch in charge. Mm, she has another thing coming. I don't think she is at all. She's well, drunk the whole time, too. Also, Macy is. Did you see Macy's pants this time? You still didn't look. No, I I mean, how many this? episodes is she gonna wear these pants when you're not gonna look? But I will tell you this. Yeah. I did like that she was so bossy with everyone. Yeah. She's like, no, no, no. Get all the smooth parts. Yeah. Hello. Do around. you guys, you've never done a puzzle? I didn't know that she was that competitive either. Right. But also you never, you've never done a puzzle. You all have children. You've never done a puzzle. And Jade's like, we actually <laughs> lock Chloe in her bedroom <laughs> in the dark, even during the day. And she does the puzzle in the dark. Right. She's like, does anyone do a puzzle? 
it's so funny. It's uh, I I like that Kate and Ty find it, and everybody's like the most non-competitive people in the world find it first. Yeah, because they're they not freaking first. out. Right. I know. They're just doing a little nice afternoon dig. Mm, a little afternoon dig. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> Yeah, wow. great. This was so fun. This was a breakthrough. You know, their relationships are going to be so much better now that they made a heart. Now, let me ask hand. you a real question. This is yeah. let's get to the real deep stuff. Uh-huh. You and Matt. Yeah. Have you ever dug up puzzle pieces in the sand? No. Well, I'm not saying you're definitely getting divorced, but I'm sorry We're about doomed. Your divorce. We must be doomed. I'll I'll draw up the papers. Okay. Yeah. You draw them up yourself. <laughs> I would love to see the terms that you come up with <laughs> on the divorce. Yeah. Noel gets everything for the rest of nothing. your life. Uh huh. You get nothing. I hope you move in with your parents and you have fun. Um, you have to pay for three meals a day. Uh huh. No dog visitation. <laughs> no dog visitation. All the <laughs> supervised visitation through plexiglass. Yep, that's all. Paw to paw. <laughs> paw to paw. That's it. That's all. The only. No matter why you got that. divorced. That's the only. Matt's gonna be like. That. All I did was not dig up puzzle pieces in the sand with her. And it's like, wow. Now I can't even see my dog. It's like, have you ever seen episode two of Family Reunion sorry. season three? I don't make the rules, buddy. Yeah, sorry, Put bud. Put the glass <laughs> and smile. Because this is how they're going to remember you. This is it. This is the only way they're going to see you. They'll never smell you again. Sorry, dog. <laughs> we put the plexiglass so they can't <laughs> smell him. That's so funny. All right. So they did it. Can you believe they did it? They did it. The can't puzzle. believe it. I actually can't but, believe it. Okay, so I'm watching this and I'm like, oh, I hope Noel has good notes on this because I don't think I'm paying attention. Oh no. Okay. And then when I text you, I'm like, Tracy, I don't have notes and it's stressing me out. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, maybe there was like something else that I just wasn't listening to, but something else happened. Because don't you feel like sometimes like nothing happens on these shows and you're like, is this a me problem? Am I like, am I just out? Right. Am or I, am I, am I just DMing people on Instagram? Well, that's the thing. It's like, am I just not paying attention? Then it's like, I, how could I possibly make this an hour's worth of talking about? It's well, just not possible. Don't worry, because Tyler wakes up in the morning. Wow. And then he goes to the beach. Wow. Noel, did you see how he woke up in the morning? How did he wake up in the morning? His D was all the way out. Well, there was this was a boner centric episode. Ah, Tracy doesn't like that. Tracy I doesn't like that. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. But you know, you know, Kate was like, you better show them your fucking boner. Yeah. You better have it out. Like, show <laughs> them what they need to be paying yep. for. Only yeah. fans. You better or show mommy's going to hit you. you. Better show them that I get you hard. You better show them. <laughs> I could actually. I know. Stop. I think Please Tyler's stop. cute. He's not disgusting. I just don't. I listen. I it's think... not that I don't think he's cute because I don't yeah. want to say that. That's not true. Yeah. I am so. That's not like. I know Tyler's not like. Oh my well, god. Well, you don't like his like personality. Me. I'm also not physically attracted to him. Oh, see, I think physically, I like him physically. I like Zach though physically fully. He's a little short. But other than that, okay, I find here's a problem. I think he's so attractive. Physically, my type is Corey. Is Corey. Mm -hmm. But I can't. Let me tell you something. My V shrivels up like yeah, a turtle in a shell. Like I can't. Corey. Like I don't even want to be near him. Me as neither. A friend. Mm -mm. But it, I mean, I don't know. I'd rather hang out with Tyler than Corey, I think, personally, if I had to pick. Yeah. I mean, Tyler's not going to get wasted and beat me. Oh, I'm not worried about the wasted part. It's the annoying. They're both so annoying. But it's like, who's Tyler's like, at less least, annoying. Right, Tyler's, I th Tyler's I, nicer, sillier, annoying. Well, that's the thing. Corey's beating on the drum and yelling. Like, I don't need this. He would overstimulate There's an me. animal mask mm -hmm. on. It's like, shut up, Corey. I don't need that in my life. No, I do not like him. Mm -mm. I do not like him. I do not like him. I actually didn't think I couldn't not like him more from last episode. I don't think that I dislike him. It's more, he's just annoying. I don't like him. Yeah. <laughs> so Tyler goes to the beach with his ding dong. Wow. His ding alone. And he's learning one Spanish word. He's like, listen, guys, we're in Colombia. I need to learn one Spanish word a day. Should you have started maybe five years ago to have a sentence this strung is together? How it goes. This is I mean, they made the scrapbook for Carly in the car. Oh, I know. Really. To see he's Carly. on the beach. He's like, <laughs> he's trying to wake up Kate. He's like, Levantate. Kate is like, I have been mm -hmm. giving birth for the last right. 10 years. You Kate's couldn't like, let I've me been, sleep in? I haven't slept in one time in 20 in my, years. In my whole life. 
April never let her sleep in. Nicholas yeah. never let her sleep in. Her Nobody. pig never let her sleep in. Nobody. Also, the pig she bought never let her sleep in. None of the pigs let her sleep in. Oh, God. So he's like, love out that day, love out that day. And she's like, my husband is screaming random words to me in Spanish. But she likes it, though. She, she low key likes it. Of course it. she does. Mm-hmm. Okay. So there's Tyler, Taylor, and Taylor. A lot of Taylors. And Tyler. Taylor, Macy's Taylor. Yeah, he's having some hair issues. What is happening to him? Okay, so there's a few different things happening. There's like gray spots. Which is fine. No, no, it's not not these things on their own. It's everything together. My problem, it's too much of the hair. Okay, so there's gray splotches. Yeah, like With some receding hairline with a faux hawk, but also he slept on it wrong. Yes. It's, but also like I said, a big not, beard. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. I there. don't like beards; they're not for me. And if a beard like that, you lost me. I also do not like beards. Thank you so much for saying yeah. that. <laughs> so, um, Macy and him talk about mm-hmm. nothing. Well, so that's the thing. It's like okay, they talked, and I was like, they're like, oh, they're hi, all, how are you? Hi, how are you? And then they're all in the kitchen together. Oh nothing wow, nothing happens. So uh-huh. Kate talks to Corey about Taylor and is like, yeah, I hope she knows that like we're trying to be friends with her. That's okay. it. Because cool. nobody really knows her except for Cheyenne. Right. So mm-hmm. Taylor and Corey meet with uh Micaiah. This is this is upsetting. Yeah, of course it's upsetting yeah. because we're also not getting to the real problems because we're ha- we have to yes. dance around it. Right. She's of like, course. when he drinks and he's like, Yeah, I have anger issues. And it's like Corey's an alcoholic. Yeah, but she also thinks uh Corey gets so blackout drunk that he's gonna bang every girl he's around. She's correct. Right, because his friends are... Because he's an alcoholic. Yeah, but I think it's more than that. Because I don't think all alcoholics cheat. I think No, 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 no. But I'm saying, like... But we're we're saying, like... Oh, no, of course. He drinks all the time. Right. (sighs) So um, he also says that he has anger issues. He had a lot of trauma. His dad was in jail. And his mom was, quote, a messed up relationship. I guess his mom was in an abusive relationship and he doesn't want to say it. All right, so... They show how they met on X on the beach. And she said that they were always breaking up and he wasn't good with commitment. Right. So he wanted to hook up with other girls. So they would break up all the time. Yeah. Been there. He cheated on her before they had kids six years ago. Mm -hmm. And she said that he's belligerent basically all the time when he goes out. Now, what? This is where I missed. Yeah. Tell me. Something about strippers on the street. Okay. So he. He likes to go out with his friends. Mm-hmm. She doesn't like his friends because they hang out with strippers. That's what I got from in this. the streets. So they hang out with so they hang out with strippers and he goes, my friends are in bed. They're just in the streets. So basically, like his friends are, are always not... out all night long. Right. They're right. Just like, party animals. Yeah. I remember. I don't know he... where the strippers come in, really. I don't know. But remember yeah. when he came home with a uh, punched in face. Oh, I remember this. Mm-hmm. This is who he is. Right. And it's like. She keeps telling him, I don't want you to do that. And he's not hearing her. He's No, he's hearing her. And he's saying, you're holding me back. I'm a butterfly. <laughs> you're a butterfly. You have three kids. Get I know. Away. Well, so that's the thing. It's like, so if you didn't want to be committed, you shouldn't be in a committed relationship. You shouldn't have gotten her pregnant. And that's it. Twice. Right. Also, you have a sick kid, man. Well, so that's the thing. You have a sick kid. Also, Ryder has her own health issues, too. Like, you have a lot going Hello. on in your life. Thank yeah. you. So then we move on to Jaden and Sean. So they have two houses. She bought a house while he was in rehab. It was her right. like doll house size. House. Right. Uh huh. And then uh, they bought a new house, and her old house has been on the market for three months. And since she went forty five thousand dollars over budget on her wedding, she's they basically have to hoping sell that first... profit. Right. right. She's hoping that's how she's going to pay for her wedding if right. she sells that house. So you're. Here's the thing. I want to know more about this wedding. I need to know more about this wedding. Is it going to be on the show? Like, I need to see is more she about bragging? it. Is that her, like, humble brag that she went over $45,000? I think in some ways, yes, because that's, like, all she yeah. has. But then in other ways, like, I don't know. I just think it makes her look foolish. Yeah, so but you have a saying. kid, and you're mm-hmm. the only one that works. Because, Sean, I don't still don't think works. Like, and you're bragging about being in debt. For your wedding for one day, what is that? How is that responsible? 
It's not. Also, yeah. if you have to sell a house to have your wedding, then you didn't have the extra $45,000 to go over budget. You should probably have some kind of percentage, some kind right. of budget that's a little bit more realistic for you. Maybe rethink this. What do you do? Who are you she showing can't. off for? MTV. Yeah, it's stupid. All right. So the party bus shows up and they are all drinking and grinding on their husbands. You know that they are instructed to grind on. They're like, now you grind on her. Now you grind. Yeah, on of her. course they are. Of you, course. They and are. it's like, come on. Um, so they get to the destination and the coaches are there. <sighs> Dr. I Mike hate this. is going to teach them how to sex moan. Okay. Again, what is the point of this? I don't know, but I got to tell you, mm -hmm. this is the first time I'm on board with Sean. Oh, okay. So Sean is like big mad about this. And I have to tell you, I'm watching this and I'm like, I would be like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I have to sit here and humiliate myself. I am not approved goes, by any My mother means. watches this. But that's no, what I'm they saying. Can't. He goes, I have to do this mumbo goddamn jumbo. They were like, this... take your shoes off. He's like, I'm not taking my shoes off. <laughs> well, stop. Right. I mean, I don't think that he was doing anything wrong. I also feel like that's a boundary. He doesn't want to do it. That's it. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Because I have to tell you. Leave Brittany alone. A prude I am not. I would not do that. Come on. I don't want to sit in the room okay. and just moan in front of a bunch of cameras. Also, yeah. There's no air conditioning anywhere. Everyone is sweating balls. Yeah, stop. Yeah, no wonder Sean's so mad. Sean is the king of sweat. That guy is, I mean, but also, like, maybe get a haircut. Maybe get a I haircut. I mean, fair enough. So they're going to have, they're like, okay, we started off with a staring contest. Okay, He's but like, we're also I hope my back looks can to kill. back. At okay. first, let's rope each other back to back. Ah, I have a huh? cramp in my shoulder. Right, I don't like this. So, Jade is really mad. Basically, says that they they aren't even having sex, and then they have to do a straddle moan scream. From also, the Sean Sean says I'm drunk and don't want to be here. So Sean's just drunk the whole trip. Mm -hmm. They That's got good. drunk on the bus. Yeah, I know. It's like. Why are we doing this? Well, I guess they had to loosen them up a little bit. I guess so. So Corey's yeah. like, listen, I've had sex on camera. I've been naked on camera. I he don't doesn't care. care. He doesn't like, care. I'll do it all. Yeah. So Taylor and Macy, they don't have enough sex. Great. That's great. Mm -hmm. And Corey and Taylor only like two, three times a week. And Kate and Ty have sex every day. But I believe I mean, that, though. Yeah, but it's like, what are they so Jade cannot have sex because she is scared of getting pregnant because and she hasn't she tells everyone that she hasn't had sex with him in six months. Yes. She fully she had says it out loud because she had a traumatic birth. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, my God, now I understand. And they're like, are you not on birth control? She's like, no, I am. Right. But she's saying she got pregnant with Chloe on birth control. Okay, So I. Mm -hmm. OK, so I've been watching Love is Blind. Uh huh. There's this couple that won't have sex because they don't want to get pregnant. Uh huh. And she's like, I guess you can get a vasectomy. Uh huh. And it's like, I feel like there's other, like, other things. Well, I feel like if you're on birth control, why can't he wear condoms? I mean, right. I would. Right, but what I'm saying it. is, like, everyone, like, no one doesn't could want to. Sure, but like, no one could grasp the concept of like there's right, right. eight million things you could do at the same time. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I just think she doesn't want to. She That's want what to. it is. Yep. Um, it's it's not enough. The birth control is not enough. And then also, I love. Uh, also, of course, they don't ask Cheyenne and Zach how often do they have sex. Of course not. They'll never. No. They're like the Cheyenne and Zach were like, we'll sue you. Right. Well, that's the yeah. thing. And it's like we never learn anything about them ever. We have no clue. So yeah. confetti comes out. They go back to the resort. There is no air conditioner in these rooms. I know. Oh, I know. I would call 911. OK. Uh-huh. Bring me to this resort. No, I wouldn't. Bring me right now. Okay, hi Tracy. You're at the you're at Coco Beach. Oh, it's so nice here. This is a nice beach. Yeah, okay, it's I'd nice. like to go inside now. Okay, I'm very hot. Boop, boop, boop. Let me show, let me show you your room. Boop, boop. Okay. Look, it says Tracy on the wall. Thank you so much. I'd like to go inside where there's air conditioning. We don't have air conditioning. What do you mean we? We as the owners, yeah. of Coco Beach, yeah, you don't Cocoa believe Beach. in air conditioning. Uh huh. Okay. We don't. Well, have I that. don't believe in being on Coco Beach. I will be airlifted to the nearest resort with air conditioning right we don't have it so sorry okay we don't believe in colombia we don't okay. believe in air conditioning okay i will be airlifted back to america <laughs> in a private yeah. jet right with lots of air conditioning i will be carried on a in a on a in an igloo 
it's crazy because they'll in- be floating on an iceberg and they're there in summer it's like I can't imagine how hot it is wow. there. And they're this there, no air conditioning. Crazy. No, I could never sleep. I would never sleep. Who chose this? I would, not only that, I'd oh, sue well, the Well, Jade and Cheyenne chose it. Oh, right. Uh-huh. I would sue the producers. I'd be like, who did this? Somebody should sue Jade and Cheyenne. and be like, I, I would do it all. Because I'd be you like, guys I saw it on, the party. on camera. You said that you chose this place. Yep. You guys threw the party. That gave me heat stroke. <laughs> all right. Well, Jade and Sean... They so they signed their offer because they got they got an offer on the house. They signed it. They're waiting for these people to sign the contract. The people don't Mm -hmm. sign the contract. They want another counter offer. Right. So now they fight. She's upset at his attitude. And she's like, also, you told Cheyenne that we haven't had sex in six months. And he's like, "Um, "Uh, you told her that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Roll the footage. Right. And. But, like, she fully says it. And I didn't even think she was drunk, but she must have been. Okay. So that's the thing. It's like, yeah. If I didn't see the footage, I'd be like, well, obviously, Jade is the reputable one. But don't you just think that, like, so you bring all of these couples here to party and to do therapy? How are you, like, okay, but it's also, it doesn't go together. It's also people that struggle with their sobriety. Right. I know. And everybody's just like, hey, Sean, have a shot. Hey, Sean, have a shot. Tyler, Kate. It's Mm -hmm. crazy. You guys have no. any kind of addiction problems? Corey? Corey, you want to get belligerent? Right. Anyone? Anyone else have any kind of addiction problem? Yeah, I know. It's so weird. Yeah. They're like, actually, we have a um a bag of heroin over there. In case anybody's we interested. A hero- we have a heroin bar. We have a it heroin has, tree. It has growing outside. <laughs> I'd be like, well. I'd be in the heroin bar then. Guess what? Yeah. <laughs> guess what I do? Sorry. Now. Sorry. <laughs> I go where the cold is. <laughs> I will have a mojito and one heroin, please. Yes, yes, please. If it means being in the air conditioner in Colombia. Icy cold heroin. I will have an icy cold heroin cocktail. Thank you so much. A little heroin slushy. I will if you nod will. off to sleep right in this air conditioning. Good night. I would come home a drug addict, addicted to air conditioning. <laughs> I've been addicted to air conditioning since I'm a kid. No, you are. You have how I was air raised. Conditioning. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's in my blood. It's, it is. It's uh, in they your say DNA. that they could. They say that they could. Um, one day they're going to be able to isolate the gene that causes air conditioning. Oh addiction. yeah, is that what they're going to do? <laughs> they're gonna okay. Cure it. Okay. I would love for them to do that to me. Anyway, guys, we're trying to make this as entertaining as we possibly can. We're for trying. You. Uh, I don't know how effective that is, but if you could comment right down below and tell us how much you love us, give us a five-star rating and an amazing review on whatever platform you listen to us on and follow us on on, uh, social media, Teen Mom Trash Talk on Instagram, uh, Teen Mom Podcast on X, Mm -hmm. Trash Talk Podcast on TikTok. Everything's right down there in the show notes. Don't forget to join us on Patreon at patreon.com slash trash talk podcast. Follow Noel at Noe Girl on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I'm at Trixie Tuzini on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. TracyCarnazzo.com for all things, everything Tracy related, including my upcoming tour dates. And we'll see you next week. Sounds great. It sounds okay. All right. Bye. Bye.